Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about some new Chanel goodies uh, that I got in from their Spring 2021 collection. And I'm a little bit late uh, making this video because I had been waiting on two new eyeshadow quads that I had seen in some promo pics for this Spring 2021 collection. And I just recently found out that they will not be releasing those quads in the US, uh, only in Europe and maybe Asia, definitely Europe, but I'm not sure about Asia and not here in the US. And what they've decided to do is re-promote two existing eyeshadow quads, one being Warm Memories, which I do have and will use today, and the other being, um, I believe, To Say Rivoli, which I don't have. I think that's the name of it. I don't have that one in any case. So we're gonna be using the Warm Memories, but the star of today's show, I think, is this blush duo. And this is available on the Chanel site. And it was it was so confusing because this appeared on the Chanel site for pre-order. There was listings for the two new eyeshadow quads, but those were like either back order or sold out. And then within a few hours, those disappeared. And like this was sold out. You couldn't even pre-order it. Anyway, I ended up getting this from uh, the Miami Chanel beauty store. They reached out to me to see if I wanted it. So we kind of struck up a conversation about whether or not like those quads were coming in and they mentioned to me that they weren't, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, I have this from the spring 2021 collection. I also have the new mascara. It's, um, well, it's not a new mascara. It's a new shade and it's a shade 120 metal terracotta. And I wasn't planning on getting this, but because <laughs> there were no new eyeshadow quads, I was like, okay, I'll try the mascara too. So we have that. And I have talked about these new limited edition lipsticks that Chanel came out with. I'm not sure if this is part of spring 2021. I think so, but they are limited edition Rouge Allure Velvet lipstick. And they have the line insignia uh, on the base here. And I have actually swatched all these for you, but it was during Mishmas and it was like in a bigger Chanel haul. And so I'm thinking maybe they got lost in the mix because a lot of you have been asking me about these and I'm like, I did a video on those. So anyway, I thought I would go ahead and swatch the three colors that I got again. And also just talk about the Rouge La Loc that has actually already appeared in my favorites, my December favorites. But I can show you again the shade that I have, which is number 60, Inflexible. So why don't we go ahead and get started? I do have foundation, concealer, powder, and bronzer down. I'm ready to go in with that blush duo. All of the makeup that's on my face will be listed down below in the description box if you are interested. Uh, but just to let you know, I am wearing the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Foundation, Hydration, and Longwear in the shade B20. So that's what I have on my face, mainly, and then some other Chanel products. So here is the blush duo. And here are swatches of the two sides. One is uh, lighter and a little bit more luminous. The other side is a little bit deeper and uh, is a little bit more of like a satin finish. And both of these products, I believe, are like a baked product. They're not like a typical pressed powder. So I'm gonna go in with a denser brush. I know denser brushes usually work a little bit better with baked products because sometimes they can be a little bit difficult to pick up. All right, I've got my Refer number 24 brush. And I'm gonna go into the deeper side, the side that has more of like a satin finish and start to pounce that over the entirety of my cheek here. I think I'm gonna use this kind of just to accent the apples of my cheeks. But I'm gonna go ahead and buff. So there is a light dusting of that deeper shade and it's a really pretty shade. It's like a, it's like a peachy terracotta. It's not as like burnt as a typical terracotta. There's like a little bit more of a peachiness to it. It's really pretty. It gives your face that flush, but it's not too exaggerated, which is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and apply just another light layer, see what it looks like just deepened up a little bit. All right, there is two light layers of this blush. Very pretty, and I really like the finish of it. It is uh, like a satin finish, so it's not a flat matte. And I definitely like a little bit of a sheen to my blush, not too much, but like a nice kind of like healthy glow is what I like in my blush. So there is my cheek with the blush and without. I do have some bronzer on, just so you know. So without blush, with blush. And let me just go ahead and even out my cheeks. I'm just gonna add some blush to this side. There it is applied all over my cheeks. All right, now let's try the lighter, more luminous side. This is the left side of the pan here. And I've got my Sonya G Sculpt 2 brush. I'm gonna try and use this 
as a highlight. I think it's gonna be a little bit too pigmented to be used as a highlight. I think I will probably end up using it like on the apples of my cheeks or wherever, you know, wherever I just wanna highlight the blush. Um, but I do wanna just check it out and see what it looks like as highlight. So I grabbed this particular brush uh, because it does pick up a lot of product easily. And I'm just going to brush it where I would normally highlight. Oh wow, surprisingly, it looks great as a highlight. Wow, look at that sheen. I feel like when I swatched this, it just looked like an amped up satin, but wow, kind of brushing it on with this brush, it looks really metallic. I'm gonna try and zoom in here just so you guys, well, I'm sure you guys can see it anyway, but I'm gonna zoom in just so you can get a close look at this finish. I'm really surprised at the, the sheen of this and the tone. It is very, very highlighter-y versus kind of being like a blush topper. That is beautiful. And don't mind this little, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have like this little mark here. It's a long story, but that's from a Band-Aid. <laughs> All right, well, that is the, you know, I'm such a do not. I thought they were calling this a blush duo. They do actually call this a blush and highlighter duo. If I had paid closer attention, I would have known that <laughs> this was gonna be a highlight. But in the pan, it really looks like a blush. At least for my skin tone, it looks like a blush. I'm already having crazy thoughts in my head because this is limited edition and I'm thinking maybe I should get a backup so that um, I don't ruin the embossing on the pan because it's so pretty, but that's stupid. I will not be doing that. Moving on, um, I do have some Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel in my brows already. So why don't we go ahead and play with the Warm Memories Quad, which again is a repromote. And I can't remember when this came out, but it really is quite a beautiful quad. It has some beautiful mauve shades over here and then this really beautiful uh, bright peachy shade. All right, I've got my Sonia G Worker One brush. I'm gonna go into this shade up here. It's the top right-hand corner. It has a little bit of a satin sheen to it, um, but it's a beautiful, like, cool-toned uh, mauve shade. And I'm gonna apply this pretty much all over my lid. This is a beautiful, like, a one-and-done kind of shade. So I have that pretty much brushed all over, and now I'm just gonna flip my brush, use the other side, and go into that beautiful peach shade. And I'm going to apply this right on top, kind of as a topper, just on the center of my lid. And then I'm gonna grab this shade in the upper left-hand corner. It's the lighter of the two shades over here on the left. And I've got my refer, I can't remember the number of this. Anyway, I'll list the brushes that I'm using down below in my description box as well. Um, but it's like a really fat uh, liner brush or a very small kind of like blending brush. And I'm gonna go into that shade and really knock off any excess. I don't want too much. And I'm just gonna drag that underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna grab my Sonia G uh, Smudger 2 brush. I'm gonna go into the deeper shade now and just smudge that into my upper lash line. All right, there is the Warm Memories Quad applied. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and then we can play with the new uh, mascara shade. All right, so the new mascara shade again is number 120, Metal Terracotta. I'm so curious to see what this looks like. Oh wow, okay, here it is. And I'm gonna try and zoom in, get you in real close so you can see what the shade looks like actually on my lashes. I bet this would be more effective on uh, lighter colored lashes, of course, like blondes or redheads maybe. This would probably look really cool. I don't know that I can see it that well on my lashes. Can you guys see it? All right, there is a couple coats of the mascara. I don't think I really see the metal terracotta. Let me take a closer look here. It's funny, it definitely looks like I don't have black mascara on. Maybe it looks like I have like brown mascara on, but I can't really see like the metallic kind of sheen to it on my lashes. It's nice though, it has like a little bit of a softer look than like black mascara. Wow, what I do notice though is this highlight. It's just, every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, ah, oh, yes. 
<laughs> All right, let's move on to lips. Uh, so I do have three of the new Rouge Allure Velvets, uh, the ones with the line insignia there. So let's start with number 237, Beige Ardent. That is this shade right here, and it has a little uh, bit of a metallic glint to it. And here is a swatch of that shade. And this formula is one of those really like incredible matte formulas where the lipstick is matte, the finish is definitely matte, but it goes on so like silky smooth and just, it just feels like a satin lipstick, but has a matte finish. And I have definitely shied away from this velvet, this Rouge Allure velvet, because I'm not really a matte lipstick wearer. Um, but I decided to give these a shot because I really like the shades. I like the line insignia on the packaging and I was just, like so pleasantly surprised at how comfortable these were on my lips. So anyway, let me go ahead and lip swatch this one. Again, it's 237 Beige Ardent. And I can see like the little glittery bits that this lipstick has in it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it through the camera, but like a few little micro glitters here and there that kind of catch the light. It's very pretty. I don't feel them though. It's not like this lipstick feels coarse at all. It is very, very smooth. And then next I have shade 227 Beige Rougesson, Rouge, 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 <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, number 227. This is a very nude color here. This lipstick on my complexion has quite a bit of warmth to it. I think it actually looks really nice with this blush highlighter duo and with that little peachiness thrown into the Warm Memories quad. I think this is actually a very cohesive look, you know, like the tones really go well together. But just so you know, this is a, is a pretty warm nude. I'm sure you guys can see that. And then last but not least for these Rouge Allure Velvets, I have 247 Rouge impulsive or impulsive <laughs> and this is a really bright bright coral shade which is just it's beautiful it's stunning I cannot wait to wear this a lot more in the spring summertime not that there's anything stopping me from wearing it now I just love these colors for the spring summer all right so there is 247 I love this color, absolutely love it. It's so bright and it just brings, it's like blush for the lips. It just brings like life to my face. So those are the three Rouge Allure velvets that I purchased. And then I did just wanna mention the Rouge Allure lock that I got. This is number 60, Inflexible. And this is the only shade that I got because I wasn't quite sure of this formula and what it was. It's kind of supposed to be like a long lasting like liquid lipstick. And for me, it really is more of like kind of like a long lasting gloss. And I don't know if it's because of the shade that I got, but this number 60 inflexible and I'll show you a, a swatch right here. It's fairly sheer. So it's not really what I would consider like a liquid lipstick. It really is very, very glossy. So again, I'm not sure if the sheerness is uh kind of unique to this shade or if this really is kind of across the entire line. But I think of these definitely more as a gloss versus kind of like a long wearing uh, liquid lipstick. You know, I would say that this is a little bit more long wearing than like a typical gloss, but it's not very, it's not like long wearing. It's not like a typical liquid lipstick or the Chanel, like the duos, the Ultra Tenu duos. Those are really, really long lasting. This is really just more of like, uh, like a longer lasting gloss. At least that's been my experience with these. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, but this highlight is so incredible. The blush is beautiful. The highlight is beautiful. Um, I'm really enjoying these Rouge Allure Velvet, um, the formula of them. I, I'm just, I'm so surprised at how comfortable this matte lipstick is. And the Warm Memories Repromote, I think is a good call. I think it goes really well with this uh, blush duo. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.